Would you like to customize your AI agent's persona? Well, let me show you how. Hey Jetformers, welcome back, I'm Kimberly. And as you can see, I'm currently in the desktop version of my dashboard. So the first thing we wanna do is we want to jump over into my agents. So in the top left-hand corner, I'm gonna choose my forms and head to my agents. And for this example, I'm going to be customizing that very top one, Luna, my feedback assistant. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit agent. And as of right now, we're currently in our build tab and we need to jump over into our train tab. So I'm gonna to head to the top middle and you can see that we automatically land in the AI persona tab. So let's go ahead and start customizing. So the first thing we can do is we can change our agent's name. So I'm going to change her from Luna to Julia. And this specific AI agent is for a hotel. So instead of feedback assistant, I'm gonna put guest relations specialist. It was one of the options to choose from, but if you want, you can absolutely type in this box, whatever you would like your agent's role to be. Next, we get to choose the chattiness of our AI agent. So we can see that it can go from minimalist, which is 10 to 50 characters, all the way up to chatty, which is 250 plus characters. So as of right now, we currently have this AI agent in the short realm, which is between 50 and 100 characters, but maybe you want yours to give a lot more information, a little more detail. You can easily click above where you want this to be, and your agent will stay within those guidelines. Next up, we have the instructions. Now, this AI agent came from a template, which was based on hotel hospitality. So we can see that it automatically came with these four that are hotel specific, this first one especially. So the main goal is this users with hotel feedback. Then we have always maintain a friendly and welcoming demeanor, encourage users to share experiences openly, and provide helpful suggestions based on users' input. Now. If you would prefer to get rid of some of these, all we need to do is choose the trash can, or maybe you have something specific that you would like to add in as a very specific instruction, you can always add a new instruction here. And as you can see, once we clicked add a new instruction, it gave us an idea of another instruction that we can add. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. Next, we have the default language. We can see for this one, it's automatically chosen as English, but you can choose which one is going to best fit you. And the last one is going to be the tone of voice. This template is automatically set to be friendly, but if we click on it, we can see that we have other options from casual to professional as well. So depending on how you want your AI agent to respond, you can choose what that tone of voice looks like for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and go up. Let's change her to extremely chatty, the 250 plus characters. I'm gonna go up to preview and let's see what this looks like. So we see we have Julia now instead of Luna and she is our guest relations specialist. Perfect right here. Let's go ahead and ask about utilizing the hotel as a wedding venue. This is great. It gives us all three spaces that we could utilize as a wedding venue. And it also talks about different wedding packages. So if we have questions about the wedding packages, we can ask that question and it'll give us more information about that and catering options. And it really is as simple as that. If you have any questions about how to edit your AI agent's persona, let us know down below in the comments. If you like this video and you got some value, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell so you get a notification every time we put out a new video. I'll see you next time.